golfing people, you are be responsible for any misbehavior, resistance seconds. Is that understood? Seconds come up, fighter. So then we're all set right in the ring there with the referee okay. Carlos Padilla. No, 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 no. Not too much. Wait, wait. wait. Not too much. And his 58th world title fight. Okay, take it off. Away we go. Kez has got rid of his three other challengers in the last year pretty quickly. Round one, round two, and round six they've gone in. Both these two getting off at a very smart pace. Just 15 rounds, the scheduled distance. with those glittering trunks. Right like one or two of the slot machines in the casino. And about a quarter of a mile away. Packed crowd here. Right Just beaten by Mustafa Hamsho. He's campaigning as a middleweight. He had a few problems. Getting in with that overhand right. And scoring downstairs too. This is a good quick start from the champion. Big opportunity for Williams. There's a massive underdog here. Coming in unanswered from Williams. That'll give him a little bit of confidence. Oh, it's a good right cross from Ches there. And another one. Two good early shots as he's found his range very quickly. It's those Williams. That's a very decent jab. Jim Watt. I'm surprised at Williams' tactics. I thought uh, he would have been backing off for the first couple of rounds trying to outbox Ches. He's obviously, obviously decided that uh, Chez is his most effective going forward. Williams is trying to stop him from doing that, trying to back him up. But uh, these punches are going through very cleanly. Williams will have to tighten up a little bit and then maybe give ground uh, just to, to get himself warm to the task. Well, we see it's not scheduled for 15. With a brave man to say it's going to go that distance after this sort of opening round. Into the last 30 seconds, it's been a cracking start. Both headhunting a little bit. It's making for a very entertaining fight. A few people are very surprised, Jim, that uh, Chez is boxing on the back foot a little bit. Yeah, well, Chez has landed bang on uh, three or four times with his right hand, but Williams has taken the punch, blinked and come straight back at him again. That was a cracking first round, uh, but Williams certainly has not been intimidated by Chez's reputation. Absolutely. Charles Williams. Only 13 fights in five years he had at the start of his career and very nearly packed the boxing business up. But he's been damaging his sparring partners in training. I'm talking to Dennis Andrees, who's one of those people who has sparred with Williams. He feels he's going to give, him, give Chez a lot of trouble. He certainly was a handful in that first round, but significant to me how many of the punches he took. And you keep drop on that corner. Okay, baby, let's keep okay. pumping. Let's go to work. We got championship to defend. All right. All right. Good to Tommy Parks in there, who's been with Ches throughout his career. Round two, then. It's going to be interesting now, really, to see if Chez continues to bomb away. Williams might be lured with a bit of false confidence. A lot of possibilities, Jim Watt. 
Yeah, well, I wouldn't have thought Williams would try to match his chest for power, but he's doing just that. He's trying to claim the centre of the ring again. And it's always the case when you have an aggressive opponent, if you can make him back up, he's far less effective. And uh, Williams certainly has himself fired up for this one. And uh, got to a cracking start, and he's trying to pick up where he left off. Just joining us, nice to have you with us live from Las Vegas. You're watching a world title fight between Bobby Chez in the sparkling trunks, the holder making his fourth defence against Charles Williams. And there's a minute gone in the second round. He does tend to give his opponents a bit of a chance, Bobby Chez. Doesn't have too many easy fights. A bit wide open. Yeah, Chez has never been difficult to hit, but that's uh, what makes him so exciting and, and such an attraction. But in the ring uh, at this moment, we have a champion and a number one contender, and that's exactly how it's looking. Two real classy fighters here. Well, I'm impressed with Williams. There's a long, long way to go. And neither man has been significantly damaged so far. Good jolting left there from Bobby Chez and another one. And this is a really good matchup. There's the overhand right, and that's his favourite punch. But once again, Williams took it seemingly unaffected. Minute to go, round two. for Williams, so while Chess has been busy defending his title, Williams has had a bit of a rest. He's looking fresh and very sharp. A challenger in the longest white trunks. Good shot from Bobby Chess, and he's wobbled him and got him. Right at the end of the second. And he's all over the place. Williams, all over the place. Well, it looks as though he was doing so well, and Bobby Chez unloaded an absolute bomb. Now, Williams has got real problems in that corner, and we must wonder if he's going to be okay to come out for the third after starting so well, and that is why Chez is such an exciting fighter. What a bomb that was, and his legs went all over the place. And another one right on the button. Cracking punch, Jim. That was a perfect punch, bang on the chin. Williams has taken a few, not quite as good as that without flinching, but no way could anybody take a punch like that. Thankfully for Williams, the bell sounded, gave him a chance to get back. We'll now find out uh, how his, his powers of recovery are. Third round. Will Bobby Chez look to finish it here? He said at the start, what an exciting fighter he is. Two really competitive rounds, and then a perfect a right cross, as you could hope to see, or a straight right it was. And now, Chez is unloading. Big bombs coming in from Bobby Chez. He's looking, and he's got him again. And Carlos Padilla has pulled him away, sent him to the neutral corner, and he's getting the count. Don't forget that three knockdown rule is in effect. Well, Chez is piling in, there's very little coming back, trapped in his own corner. The challenger. Brilliant, aggressive stuff from the champion. What a brave opponent, though. It's a chance he's waiting for all his career and he's not going to throw it away lightly. But there's not much coming back. It's too early in the round for Williams to be, to be doing this. He should be grabbing hold of Chez and trying just to survive for the next half minute or so, but he's trying to fight back. He seems to have weathered the storm, believe it or not, but uh, I think that right hand in the previous round just took too much out of him. But here he keeps coming, trying to come back again. 
three or four good uppercuts coming in from Williams there when he looked trapped on the ropes and he swung things around him, but that was a low blow. Keep him up, says Padilla, the referee, but box on. What entertainment this is. Chez, a man with bombs in his fist, and he's taken a few from Williams. Head jolted back again. Williams must be in excellent physical shape to throw the effects of that and actually come fighting back again. He must be in tremendous shape. A good right hand from Williams. And it's Chez in trouble now on the ropes. And genuine trouble too. Just under a minute to go in the third. We were asking at the start, could Bobby Chez finish it? And this challenger, well, I wouldn't say he's swung things round, but he's having the best period of the fight by far. Again, Chez's head jolts back. A bit of spray flies across the ring here in Las Vegas. Still sticking out the left hand to the challenger. You hesitate, though, to say he's weathered the storm because Chez has shown that he's got dynamite in his fist, really. Well, we come to the end of the third, and all incident, as always happens when Chez gets in the ring. Oh, the crowd loving it. That's the scene. Out in the car park, one or two people paid uh, $400 to sit at ringside in this particular car park. Sugar Ray Dennis around here, Marvin Hagler, Tyson, George Foreman. Well, I think beautiful, most beautiful. of them at ringside admiring the way Williams came back from this sort of punishment. I mean, he was down there early in this round. No position to defend himself. Got the standing eight count. And then came back with this sort of stuff. Don't forget, Thomas Hearns still to come against one and all down history in the making. <laughs> Round four. Well, Jim, what, what's going to happen now? Well, I wouldn't have believed that Williams could come back after being all over the place at the beginning of the second round to actually come back and end up taking the initiative away from Chez. I wouldn't have believed it, but it shows how good shape he's in and uh, what a good fighter he is. As we said earlier, a champion and a number one contender, and that's exactly what, what they're boxing like. Well, Bobby Chez said before the fight he wanted to overpower Williams with his intensity and his will. Well, there's a great fighting heart from the six foot one Charles Williams. Chez will always give him a chance, Jim. Well, Chez has never been difficult to hit. I'm surprised how controlled Williams is. Moving in, does everything behind the jab. Nice and compact, nice and tight. He, he takes a few chances, and Chez has managed to bang in some solid right-handers, which caused the trouble earlier on. But uh, nevertheless, a real good pro Williams is. Had a good fight against old Marvin Johnson, but uh, Johnson beat him on points, but that gave him a lot of confidence, apparently. Uh, he's won 10 in a row since then. Although he hasn't been particularly active, as we told you early on, but he's been really active in this fight. A quiet around this one, and goodness me, who can blame them? Well, keeping in mind, we're talking 15 rounds, Jim, so uh, okay. they've both tried to, to bomb out early. It hasn't worked, so they're settling down now, and they're trying to chisel away and just wait for the openings now. Especially Chez, it's noticeable how much he has dropped the pace down, but at least he knows he has the power to, to hurt Williams. Best entertainment, only the best will do here in Las Vegas. Frank Sinatra opening just down the road from us tonight. All the big stars here, and this is boxing at its best, no doubt about that. 